Welcome to Tuesdays with Tom. So this Tuesday I thought it would be cool to uh, talk about and like kind of compare and contrast two characters from my early childhood TV watching that both have really, really funny names. The first of which being Mr. Snuffleupagus and the second being Dr. Theopolis. Now for those of you who don't know, uh, Mr. Snuffleupagus was on Sesame Street and he was the imaginary friend of Big Bird. So Big Bird was the only person that could see Mr. Snuffleupagus. He's a big woolly mammoth that had no tusks. Now Dr. Theopolis, of course, he was on Buck Rogers. Now Dr. Theopolis, if you want to take a look at it, Dr. Theopolis wasn't nearly as big as Mr. Snuffleupagus. Mr. Snuffleupagus was a 572 pound, pounds when he was born. Dr. Theopolis was a mere nine inches big. But of course, Mr. Dr. Theopolis was a member of the Computer Council. Very, very, very intelligent and was one of the leading scientists in the 25th century on Buck Rogers. So that's got to count for something. Now, I don't know if Mr. Snuffleupagus was, was uh, very smart, but he did have size 65 GGG, triple G shoes. Now that's a big shoe, in case you didn't, in case you didn't know that. But Dr. Theopolis was actually carried around by a humanoid figure that only he could understand the binary language of Twiki. So that's pretty cool. So I'm trying to look at which one's better, and I'm going to have to give the edge to Dr. Theopolis because Dr. Theopolis has a better music tie. Now, there was the Snuffy Shuffle, and if you haven't seen the Snuffy Shuffle, go check that out. That's pretty funny. But Dr. Theopolis actually has a funk band named after him, so I'm gonna have to say that he gets the nod this, for, for the uh, strange name celebrity death match, if you will. So all I got to say is uh, biddy 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 peace, heavy metal.